hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Python how to pass a selected text from a drop down list from one template page to another template using Django now let's select this time Kiwi the selected fruit name is Kiwi go to page one let's select the last one is apple click the selected fruit name is apple if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before continuing this tutorial series i sincerely recommend please watch my previous python django tutorials i'm using visual studio code to write the python and if you notice in the left side there is an explorer panel which contains three options open editors python django and outline python django is my project folder in this folder i have created a django project which is my project if you don't know how to create a project in django at the end of this video tutorial you will get the link how to install the latest version of django and how to set up a project for python in django so my project is my project name let me expand that one and my project there is a subfolder called my project let me expand this one all these project files has been installed automatically when i created a project in django and these all files are in python now let's continue the today's lesson how to pass a selected text value from the drop down list control from one template page to another template so first let's create a new template in this project i'm selecting the root folder which is a my project right click that one new folder give a proper name to the folder name which is a templates and here we got our templates now let's add a html pages in these templates right click the mouse select new file and this one is a page one dot html and here we got our html page now let's add some html code here doc type i'm closing the html tag now inside this html i'm adding the header tag in the header tag i'm adding the title for this page now the title tag is page one now after that i'm adding the body tag now inside this body i'm adding the header tag h3 this is page one I'm adding horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding the select option element which is a drop down list control select now the select element contains the sub element which are the options let's add that one option the first option is a uh, select fruit is a label name select fruit and I'm making this disable is equals to true and selected after that I'm adding the elements here one is a uh, apple the fruit names second option grapes the third one mango and the fourth one is uh, kiwi and that's it just for the demo purpose i have added some fruit names here in this select option element now let's add the second page right click the templates folder create new file 
and the file name is a page2.html. Now instead of writing the HTML code, just I'm copying this part and I'm changing the title is a page2 and this is page2 and I don't require this select option element in this page2. Now here in the page2 I want to display the user selected element from this page1. For example, if a user select the mango and you click the button control, oops, here I forgot to add the button control. Let's add that one also. Input type is equals to type is uh, submit and the value of the button is a click. Now we got all the elements here. When a user select any particular option from the select element, for example, if a user select the mango and click the button control, the mango I want to display here in this page too. So here in the selector fruit name is I want to display the result here. So the next step, let's create the Python file in the project. I click the project name, click new file. I'm adding the Python file name, which is the index.py. Now in this Python file, I'm defining from Django. Um, Django dot HTTP import HTTP response. After that, we are using templates, so I want to render these templates. So let's add the DJ Django dot shortcuts import render. After adding these so after importing these two packages, now let's define the function def um, web page one web page one request colon return render method and this render method I'm just requesting comma the template name between double quotes I'm adding the template is a page1.html page1.html now the second function name for the second template web page2 is a function name a request colon return a render a request comma the page 2 dot html now in the page 2 i want to display the selector option from the page 1 so let's declare um, a variable results is equals to respond dot get method in this get method I'm adding the property of the select element select name is equals to fruits so let's copy this one and paste here the window records comma and the comma I'm adding the dictionaries single quotes the key is the fruits this one let's put this in a single quotes fruits colon the selected value is in the results 
So I'm copying this one and pasting it. That's it. Now let's add this fruits. Copy this one. Go to page two. A double curly braces. The expression I'm adding the fruits. This I want to display in the bold tags. Copy this one and paste here. And I'm adding break. After the break, I'm adding href. Go to page one. In the href, curly braces, percentage, URL. To go to page one, I'm declaring the single quotes, the method name web page one. Copy this one and paste here. Now the next step. Let's open the URLs. In the URLs, notice the path is the admin, which is a default home page of our project for this project, my project. So now I don't require hash. I'm adding my new path, single quotes, comma. So let's add our page name here. So first we will need to import from dot import our functions is in the index.py. The web page one and web page two are the functions contains our templates. So let's import our the index page. Now here index dot and notice here we got our function names web page one comma path single quotes this one I'm adding page 2 comma index dot web page 2 now after that the most important attribute for this method is the name is equals to the single quotes Whatever we are adding here, the web page one, let's write here. Web page one, and this is name is equals to single quotes web page two, and this web page two, let's add in the page one in the form tag let's add the form tag I'm closing this form tag after the button click now in the form tag I'm adding the action between curly braces percentage URL single quotes uh, this is web page 2 so single quotes web page 2 copy this one and paste here that's it now the most important the last step is we need to open the settings.py in this settings.py python file you got the template section which contains the dirs the directories OS dot path dot join method in the join method I'm adding the base directory B A S underscore D I R base directory and the paths we are getting from this templates folder. So this is a string folder. So between single quotes I'm adding the folder name templates. 
that should give the correct name complex that's it let's save this all files save all oops here we got an error it's showing in the orange it's not respond it's a request so we are requesting we get the fruit names so request.get let's save these files save all so let's run a server open view go to debug console switch to the terminal notice the base directory is a python django which is my project name i have created in the d drive so in this folder python django our project is a my project name so cd change directory my project enter now let's run the server python manage dot py i'm adding this file name to run the server run server enter and here we got a message and the message we got no issues found and this is our server url click the control button and mouse click and here we got the output of the project right now we are in the page one which contains the heading this is page one and one drop down list control which is a select option with some values apple grapes mango and kiwi now let's have the mango when i click button control click oops here we got an error uh, the location web page to line eight let's check that one So line 8 oops here the get method is a capital letters get sorry for that let's save this file our server is reloading let's switch to the browser again enter see here the selected fruit name is mango go to page 1 now let's select this time qb the selected fruit name is kiwi go to page one let's select the last one is apple click the selected fruit name is apple that's it